Um, yeah, we got the bar, it's done, baby. This looks like straight ass. This looks nice and clean. Uh, it's annoying. It's annoying. Low bend. This is the mid bend. When you get through the bar, you don't have all your cuts and all your heat shrink in the same spot, and it makes like a puzzle. So this is the RMS uh, method pullback risers with a thrashing mid bend bar. thing today so we're, we're gonna both help each other out right so <laughs> uh, right now we're sticking everything apart um, we are going to be leaving the, the riser setup that I have now from RLNS but what we're going to be doing is that I changed it out the bar so right now as you know I have a thrashing flat it's like a low bend bar which is horrible um, so we're going to put a mid bend bar down there and we're going to get rid of all this trap that's here <laughs> We're gonna get rid of all this crap uh, that's here down the bottom where the gauges used to be at. Cleaning the whole section up and adding the Arlen S black triple tree on there. Um, and then Mike is gonna do some magic to hide all the wires and everything. So, pretty cool install. And I'm guessing we're gonna be helping him out. Look at you drinking your latte. It is. It's tough guy stuff. It's caramel craze. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do that conversion. That's not the problem. Daylight come and me want to go Alright, so this is the stock uh, triple tree, top triple tree. Then this is the one that we're adding out from Arlen S. Obviously a huge difference, cleaning everything up. This looks like straight ass. This looks nice and clean, man. So, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't want to look at that while I was riding. Then afterwards, when we take the um, the bar off, I'm gonna show you guys a huge difference from the low bend bar to the mid bend bar. Um, that was just my mistake from the beginning because I wasn't trying to go too high, but after a while, just looking at the bar, it just didn't look right. It just kind of looks flat. Um, it felt good. I felt comfortable position wise, so I'm not gonna lie about that. But it just aesthetically, just it wasn't pleasing to me. Um, Three hundred bucks and about two hours later. Your camera. Whoa, whoa. Ryan, some bitch. What the fuck is this? Yeah. What is he do? <laughs> Fucking weird. Cross. <laughs> 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 This is the difference. Low bend, this is the mid bend. So this is the reason why I wanted to change it. I uh, wanted more of a progressive look. Um, is it just gonna change the whole, the whole dynamics of it? I wanted to be a bit more aggressive when I was riding as well. A bit more higher, like up here. Use that bridge. Low bend, you want, mid bend. Do you want me to hand model for you? Sure. There we go. I'm gonna hold the top one. Yeah, I'm like down here with the bars. Yeah. And with this, I wanna be, it's gonna be like almost up here, so. Right. Something more closer to what I had on my low rider S. That's what I wanted. Both thrashing bars. 
There was, um, Arlenes does provide a bar and it does come um, all black as well. But it was a back order for I don't know how long, so I wanted everything done. We're gonna get new bushings, the new poly bushings for here. So once we get them, we're gonna put the risers on, tighten them up, uh, make them, you know, snug for now, throw the triple tree down, start doing the wiring. And then once we pull the bike off the lift, we'll do our final tightening on the riser bolts because the new bikes have, see this plate here? Yep. That plate blocks your access to tighten the riser bolts in the bottom. You have to turn this way and this way to get into here and here. Gotcha. In the meantime, we can just go back here and see, uh... new guy, what are you doing? Let's do a full service. Full service. 93 soft tail. You're not so new around here. Nope. You're the guy with the long beard. Look at you with the long beard. <laughs> what are you working on today? I'm working on this trike that I uh, put together at Paul's a bunch of years back. Oh, you did this? Yeah. Oh, nice. At least with the other bar, we just gotta feed the same ones. It's not like we gotta wrap anything, right? Yeah. Uh, I may have to redo all the wiring. These aren't long enough, so I'm gonna have to extend everything. Um, I want to make sure that I can get them. The other bar's taller. Yeah. So I may have to extend all the wiring to get it to go. Because so I'd rather have all this wiring inside the fairing and make all the connections in there. Gotcha. So that if you ever got to take the bar off again, we'll, uh, all the connections will be inside the fairing. Gotcha. And we're going to tuck everything right in there behind those lights. Jeez. So tight. Huh? One of Richie's fucking old customers, I wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, it was one of your rest. Put it in the circle. Cleaning out all the uh, latte that was in there? Yeah. With that? Yeah, there's a lot. I'll show you once we get it. <clears throat> you see it coming out. Yeah. Wow. What that was in there? Yeah. It's the little things, man. It's the little things. The little things. So you got all the. What side is this? That is the brake side. The brake side. It all went through. Yeah, so I throttle by wire, these are your can bus. And that's your, gonna, that's your old ignition switch that you're not gonna have anymore. Sweet, I actually wanted to get rid of that. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, man, feeding everything down to here. It's gonna be this side now. These we won't be able to do anything about, right? What's that? The uh, brake lines. We can't, these are, you know, this is from ABS and yeah, yeah. actually it's going down to your calipers. Uh, We'll see what we can do to make them try to disappear a little bit. Yeah, as long as all the other crap is gone, man. We can cut the brake lines if you want. You don't really need them. <laughs> you, got, you got rear brakes. Check out how these do. Man, America. That's what's up, bro. God damn it. Cause got some beef and broccoli. Can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> No, I'm gonna find out right now. <laughs> hey, Charlie. Call one of your Puerto Rican friends, bro. You don't got Puerto Rican friends? I have an Ecuadorian friend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I mean. <laughs> no, it's fine. What have you done? I don't know what I mean. That's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> what? A disaster. We'll see. <laughs> Yo, bro, you got Twitter? You'll find out right now if you post it on Twitter. Like, what it is. is. <laughs>
we're probably too far forward. Maybe just a little more back. That's it. I think it's far back if you could go. Right there. That's the bridge. Yeah, let's go right there. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 What are you doing right now? You're, um... So, um, we're extending the wires so that we can get them through the bars. This is the stock length right here. So we're extending them so that we can get them through uh, into the fairing and make our hookups. Gotcha. It's a lot easier to do them now than it used to be. Why is that? Because CAN bus now, pretty much you've got your your whole side is controlled by these four wires. So you've got a uh, you've got a power, a ground, a transmit, and a receive for the CAN bus. In the old days, you had a plug, a big plug, and probably had 12 wires in each plug. So there's 20, 24 wires to extend. Wow. Yeah. And we make these harnesses. Yeah. So what I'm going to wind, they're all going to be the same length. So what I'm going to wind up doing is um, we're going to we're going to cut and stagger the wires so that um, when you get them through the bar, you don't have all your cuts and all your heat shrink in the same spot, and then it makes like a bubble. Now you also do a lot of music here too, right? So you do a lot of audio. Yeah, shop. we do a lot of audio. So you work a lot with wiring and everything. Yeah, yeah. We we use all you know for our audio systems. We use all uh, Stinger oxygen free copper. They're staggered lengths now. Okay. So that when I solder them and heat shrink them, they're not all in one spot. It'll gotcha. keep it. You know, there won't be a bubble. Okay.
look at that. Look who just wired their own bike. I did everything. Mike just, he's just here supervising. But I did everything. <laughs> Looks good. Torque wrench too. I do. They give me so much shit before because I never torque my stuff. <laughs> and now I do. Mike makes me. He's like, you know what? You're gonna torque on some cycles. You're gonna torque your stuff down. <laughs> It's a commission for every torque wrench. Keeps <laughs> you stop. You can go over 25. Looking good, baby. Looking good. Right. What a huge difference. Huge, huge. The difference is huge. 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 It's like I tell you guys. I've told you. It's huge. We got the boards done, baby, as you guys can see in the front. Huge difference from uh, from what it looked like before. It feels great. It looks great. It feels great. Super happy. Mike did an amazing job tucking in and cleaning up the wires everywhere you don't see anything everything looks really good man i'm really happy around there <laughs> oh this thing feels great man so this is the rlns uh method pullback risers with a thrashing mid bend bar this bar is around like uh three and a half inches maybe so all in total, we are at like 13 and a half. Which isn't bad. And it feels great. I'm 5'7". Good length of my arm. I still got a slight bend right here, so it's not too tall. I still see the screen perfectly. It's amazing. And I'm just, I'm so pretty that all that garbage that was there is all gone. Went ahead and installed the uh, Arlen S triple tree on top as well too. So that's another reason why it looks so clean. And yeah, so we're gonna head over to Bergen right now, see what's going on there, get a drink or two, hang around, maybe get a bite, see who's there, see some new bikes. Heading back there tomorrow morning to do a review on the Highway King. So that video might be up. If not, then check it out. Uh, if, yeah, it might be up in a day or two if it's not up yet. A lot of good stuff coming, guys. We got the crew, baby. <laughs> yeah, it feels good. It feels good. It feels really good. Yeah. And we got Mike on his glide today. Look at that. We got the El Diablo. Satan's mistress right there. Nice little turn. We've got a live band. We've got a food truck over there. Nice little turnout. Get the fire pit. Let's see who's here. <laughs> 